Hello family, I am staying at Rio Palace, Jamaica in Montego Bay. I've decided to do a tour of the hotel and so take a look at that and afterwards make sure that you stay tuned because I want to tell you the good, the bad and the indifferent with my sister and also some tips you need to know about staying at this hotel. So this is the gym they provide for you. It's not a big gym, but if you do want to get a workout in, work out some of those calories from all that eating and drinking, this is the gym. There's an elliptical, two treadmills, a bike. There's weights. They provide you with some mats and towels. Not very big, but you can get a workout in. Now leaving from this gym, I'm heading towards the lobby. Heading towards the lobby, you will see this store here. Um, and so if you forgot something, if you need something, here is the store that they have here on the premises called Pier 27 Caribbean Life. Going towards the lobby now. You will have these places where you can just sit and relax. This is the lobby itself. The reception area to the left. And a bar here called Vogue. And sometimes they do have live music in this bar. Let's go outside and check out the rest of the hotel. I'm outside now. They have these places where you can just sit, lounge, relax. This is the view of the property. This is one of your first specialty restaurants, the Italian restaurant here on the premises. Then you have another one, Crystal Restaurant, which is a gourmet style restaurant. You have a Japanese restaurant. This is Montego Bay, which is where you have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, the buffet. The steakhouse will be over here at night in this area. Decided to take you from the front again just to show you the property. What do you think? Beautiful, isn't it?
This is the property. So, two pools, one over here. This is Montego Bay right here that I was at earlier. Not a big property off there in the distance will be the place where they have many functions at night. That's also the place where you can have 24 hours food and the bar will be there as well. They're playing music there right now. Chess. Leading towards the other pool. And this is where you can have the swim up bar. But also if you don't want to get into the water, you can go on the bar on top as well. places around here. come here these little cabanas or beds they are free of charge all you have to do is make sure you're one of the first persons to get it it is no cost but you have to make sure that you're one of the first persons to get it let's go towards the beach check out the beach Think about the beach and the water. Get a closer look of um, the area that's all inclusive and the space where you will hold some of your night events. Since they're playing music, I won't show it too much. This was the Aqua Chill Out bar. As I said, this is a place where they'll have a lot of things during the night. As a bar here, you can have your 24 hours food. Great amount of seats. They'll have a DJ here at night, and you can just come and relax, eat. View of me walking back into the lobby.
promised, here is my sister Beverly, and we are going to speak about this hotel, the good, the bad, and the indifferent. And as promised, I will give you some tips that you need to listen to if you are going to come to this hotel. So the first tip is, if you book directly with Ryu.com, I'm not sure about Travelocity, I'm not sure about Expedia, but if you book directly through the website, it offers you free shuttle service to and from the airport. And so what you would have to do is if you do not have your information for your flight when you book it, all you have to do is call them up and give them the information and they will email you a form that will give you all of the information of who you need to be in contact with when you come to the airport. And so when you're going back, you have to meet a representative at the hotel two days before, as we did today. Yeah. And when you do that, then you they will let you know what time you have to be ready to go back to the, the airport. airport right yeah. and so first thing so shuttle service what did you think about that in terms of booking it letting them know when they picked us up from the airport to bring us here what did you think about the whole procedure i think the whole procedure went smoothly because when you book all you need to give your your arrival time your airline your flight number and all that and when you get to the airport you there you're registered and then they give you um, a code to go to the bus. It yeah. was pretty simple. Yeah, so we had Nexus is ours here. It may be different um, from property to property or mm -hmm. place to place. And so all we did was just go outside and then we gave them our name. Um, we went into the, to the, past the place where we got our bags. Mm -hmm. Then there was representatives. We had to kind of speak to them first. Then once we spoke to them, and then they sent us outside so that we could go on our bus. Yeah, and we didn't have to wait. As we got in the bus, the bus took off. Exactly. So we didn't so have to wait. So easy. Um, if anything, as as custom, maybe just give a little bit of tip to the driver um, once you get to the hotel. All right. And so the next thing is the room. A lot of the rooms are a junior suite in this hotel. The base room is a junior suite. I already did a review of my junior suite that I'm staying in. So make sure that you go and check that out. So let's go to the decor of the hotel. And so you can see what the decor is. Oh, so it's nothing like being here in person and actually walking around and getting to see it on a daily basis. And so what did you think about it? I thought it was pretty looking at it and yeah, it was lovely walking in. The the decor, it's purple and gray and white, and it just matches perfectly. It's and, beautiful. And this hotel is not huge. And so I've been to other properties. And so, you know, even this, though it's called the palace, you know, sometimes yeah. I've been to other palaces under Rio and it's massive property. It's huge. And so, you know, walking through it, just getting from one part to the next, is not a huge property and so if you're an individual worrying about doing a lot of walking and having to come from your room and go to the reception and go to eat at different places going to the pool and the beach area is not a lot of walking no. to go from one place to the next and so i thought it was just a perfect size for me yeah you yeah. know and um you know people of different ages and, and mobility it's, it's issues an adult only and it is adults only. Okay. And so this is adult only. And also the other two properties that's connected is adults only. Also, uh, let's give you another tip. So the other two properties, as I said, next to these properties is Rio Reggae and Rio Montego Bay. Because we are the palace, because if you stay at the palace, you have a little bit more benefits than the others do. And so because you are an individual that book at the palace, you can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner at Rio Reggae, and you can have lunch at Rio Montego Bay, and at all properties, you can drink as much as you want. So just remember that. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, say you just want a change of scenery, if you have an individual that's staying at Reggae, at Rio Reggae, and they'll allow you for lunch at Rio Montego Bay, 
but none of the specialty restaurants you can eat at Reggae or Montego Bay. You have to stay at the palace if you want some of the additional specialty restaurants. And so let's go with food. And so there's some tips I want to speak to you about. I thought that breakfast, lunch, and dinner well, is everything to your liking. You may like something, but you know, it's Jamaica. So I really enjoyed Jamaican cuisine. Obviously, they will have a combination of everything yeah. for breakfast, yeah. right? Breakfast, you'll have your American breakfast. breakfast. You'll have your eggs, you'll have your bacon, you'll have your things of that nature. But there is a lot of Jamaican cuisine. Yeah. So don't think that you'll come here and you feel like all you're going to get is eggs and bacon. No. You will get Jamaican cuisine for breakfast. For lunch, you get it for dinner and in the buffet itself without having to go to any other specialty restaurant, right? Correct. And it's good food. Yeah, they have a variety of a variety of foods that you can choose from. So the only thing is, you know, we like a sweet tooth. Sometimes yeah. we like something sweet afterwards. You know, the desserts may kind of be commonplace, especially the ice cream. Yeah. Ice cream is like, they more or less had the same ice creams every day. Yeah. Pistachio, they did have grape nut, vanilla, and some kind of cake, and ice, cream, and cake ice cream, and chocolate. So base ice cream, so don't look for a lot of assortment, different types of desserts or ice cream coming here, but they do change up the food. They'll yeah. always have like a pasta station. They'll always have like an Asian station. Mm -hmm. They will have a station also where you can get like sushi mm -hmm. if you want that. Um, so they just have different stations yeah. also in the buffet for lunch and dinner. Big assortment of types, different types of salads yeah. as well. So it's they have a lot of food. They do have the specialty restaurants. We were not able to take advantage of the specialty restaurants because of an issue that I will tell you about that you need to be aware of and this is another tip and so they do have four specialty restaurants I did mention that in the walkthrough they have the Italian they have the gourmet which is crystal they have the Japanese, Japanese. and they have the, the steakhouse. steakhouse okay so booking now one of these specialty restaurants there's people that came here and they had parties of 30 parties of 11 and so the th rule is, unlike some of the properties where they have more or less a person that stays there and write down the people's names and how many people in the party, they want you to book through the app. In booking through the app, now, you have to book per room and it's a minimum or a maximum, I should say, of more or less two people or the amount of people that you in have in your room, room, right? So if you have four people in a room, two people in a room, you're you booking book based upon room. the people that are in the room. So if you have a party of more than that and you have separate individuals, one person in this room, this person in that room, like our party, and our sisters and my mom and my nephew is here, it gets complicated because the only thing that you can kind of put in the app, they said, and we were speaking to the restaurant, specialty restaurant manager. The only thing really you could put it as a note in the app is that you're asking them to, or you're telling them that these rooms are linked together. That's the only thing. And so you literally have to call and let them know that you have a big group and you want them go to the reception desk and they will be able to help you say we have a big group this is the amount of group you know ordinarily it should be done through the app but in these special situations it should be done like that another tip that you must know before coming to this hotel is that they do not have a spa like sometimes people like to go get their massages get their manicures get their pedicures so there is not a spa at this particular hotel. So you will have to book something at the Reggae or at Rio Montego Bay. So my sister booked, it was Mother's Day weekend. My sister booked something for my mother at Rio Reggae. So saying that, 
that's the reason why the gym on this property is 24 hours because the spa in Regals are usually booked to the gym as well. So when the spa is closed, the gym would be closed. So that's the reason why in this particular property, the gym is 24 hours. So, and so let's go on to speak about entertainment. So what did we think about the entertainment staff, the entertainment itself? What do you think? Now you, now you go. <laughs> the entertainment is limited. There's not a lot of entertainment that I'm accustomed to at the Rio. They do not, because the reason why is because they do not have a stage here. Yeah. So reels we've been to in the past have a stage. And so there'll be so many different types of show on the stage, dancing and things of that nature. And so they do not have a stage. They do make do like yesterday they did have aqua, aqua. Olympics. Well, people were dancing in the, pool. in the pool. And so if you've ever seen Olympics, they would coordinate dancing in the pool. Um, like tonight they have karaoke. So they do not have the level of entertainment like others have. So my sister went with my other sisters last night to a cultural show at Rio Montego Bay. And let, um, tell them how that was. And the cultural show was great. It was, an, um, they gave you... Um, they were explaining to you the evolution of the Jamaican music from all the way up to Bob Marley and now. And they give play a small tribute to Bob Marley. It was very entertaining. Very entertaining. We sure enjoy that. So if you do not, so that's t another tip. If you see on the app or you can ask the people um, what's happening for the, the night at this hotel, and you're not really into what you're hearing, go check out Rio Montego Bay or go check out Rio Reggae. And then you can enjoy yeah. the entertainment, the night entertainment there. Um, during the day is the same thing. You know, you're always going to have those pool games. You're going to have maybe meditation. You may have Zumba or size in the pool. volleyball or, or pool volleyball. So all of those things are the same during the day. It's the night entertainment mm -hmm. where it kind of differs. And so, but the fact that the other two properties are so close, you're if you're able to walk it. And it's not a far walk. It's like a two minute walk. Exactly. So yeah. this is another tip for people who may have mobility issues. You're, you're staying with somebody who may be a little bit more elderly or can't get around walking like that. They will provide a free shuttle between the two other reels. Mm -hmm. You know, just maybe just give a tip. But just let them know you want to go to Rio Reggae or let them know you want to go to Rio Montego Bay. It's maybe a five minute walk or so um, either way because the palace is in the middle of both of them. Yeah. So on Rio Reggae is on one side, Rio Montego Bay is on the, on the other side. And so you just ask the front desk, can I get somebody to drop me to either one of the hotels? Mm -hmm. And they will provide a free shuttle there also, we were able to get that same shuttle to the market that's like across the street. Um, we later on didn't realize it was so close, but so then we were able to walk it to and from that same place, get your shopping. And so that's another tip also. There's a place on the prom a property that there's a shop where they have souvenirs. Go across the street and get your souvenirs, souvenirs for so much less. It's yeah. very expensive in the store that they have on the first floor in this hotel. Mm -hmm. Do not, because of the convenience, get your souvenirs here. Go across the street, whether you could walk it, get the shuttle to drop you over there, get your souvenirs over there. Right. So thank you for watching this, guys. Thank you, thank Beverly. You. Thank you. So can you do me a favor? Can you like, comment, subscribe, click on the notification bell to be informed of future posts. Until next time. See you soon. Happy travels.